Russia's rivals have more reasons to worry. Putin's invisible hand could be at work again. A new private army might be taking shape. An army inside an energy company. You heard that right. We're talking about Gazprom, one of the largest gas producers in the world. It is owned by the Russian state. And it could be raising a private army. Some reports have emerged. The Russian prime minister has signed some orders. It allows Gazprom to form a private security company, a subsidiary of sorts for Gazprom. What will this company do? And why does a gas company need its own army? The order does not spell out the details, but some theories are doing the rounds. One purpose could be to protect its pipelines. Gazprom is one of the largest gas extractors in the world. In 2021, it was the largest producer of natural gas. It owns about 178,000 kilometers of gas pipelines. 178,000 kilometers. They're spread out around the world. Gazprom is critical to Russia's economy. It is the main source of Russia's revenue. In 2019, it accounted for 5% of Russia's GDP, so the Russians could be securing their facilities. But there's one more theory. Gazprom could be building a security organization, one that could strengthen Russia's military power. And the idea is not far-fetched. State-owned enterprises often serve as an extension of the Russian state. Gazprom has a long history of this. Just look at the recent events. When Russia invaded Ukraine, the West punished the Russian economy. They slapped tough sanctions. In response, Moscow slashed gas supplies to Europe. Eight months after the war began, Russia cut 80% of gas supplies to the EU. Western Europe's gas stocks took a big hit. In 2021, it got 40% of its gas from Russia. By the end of 2022, that supply dropped to just 7.5%. Gazprom was the main supplier to Europe. It owns and operates the Nord Stream pipelines. They supply gas to Europe. And now it is slowly turning off the taps. This is economic warfare. Gazprom might take it to the ne next level. Ukraine has taken notice of these developments. Kiev says Gazprom could be following the example of the Wagner Group. What's the Wagner Group? A private Russian paramilitary unit believed to be deeply tied to the Kremlin. Reports say the Wagner Group is involved in the Ukraine war. It has tens of thousands of fighters on the battlefield. Many fighters were recruited from Russian jails. Wagner has mercenaries deployed in West Asia and Africa too. I'm talking about countries like Syria, Yemen, Libya, the Sudan, Mozambique, Madagascar, Central African Republic and Mali. What are Russian mercenaries doing in all these countries? They focus on two kinds of missions. One is protecting the elite or the ruling class. And second is protecting critical infrastructure. And this is no longer a secret. In fact, Russia promotes these mercenaries. The Russian foreign minister was recently in the Sudan. Sergei Lavrov spoke to the press. He highlighted the role of private militaries there. We have commented several times on the activities of our private military companies which work at the direct request of the countries concerned, like in Central African Republic. This is a contribution to the normalization of the region as a whole, where terrorist gangs continue to be active. Lavrov has been dropping hints. Recently, he said, it is important to protect Russian assets. That comment was made in Iraq. Was that a reference to Gazprom's new unit? Well, we shall find out soon enough.